Welcome to a tutorial on electronics and today we're here to discuss about the compensation theorem. Okay, so uh, in this uh, theorem uh, that's known as the compensation theorem of course which is one of the network theorems okay that is used in order to you know simplify complicated networks okay so as I was saying uh, in the compensation theorem basically we have uh, or rather we'll basically study a technique in which we can basically uh, you know find out the uh, change in the current in a particular branch of a circuit okay so uh, let's just bring the statement over here so uh, yeah there you go so the statement as you can see uh, for the compensation theorem over here it basically uh, you know states that in a linear time variant network you'll already have come across you know uh, these terms that linear network and all so you'll already know what a linear uh, network basically is so in a linear uh, time variant network okay so here time variant basically implies that uh, you know the current and the you know uh, circuit parameters I mean uh, the values of the resistances and you know they can basically change with time okay so it says that in a linear time variant network when the uh, resistance RL of an uncoupled branch carrying a current I is changed okay so that the change over here is let's say represented with delta R okay then the currents in all the branches would change and can be obtained by assuming that an ideal voltage source uh, that's denoted by VC okay has been connected now this VC as I said is of course uh, the change in the voltage that's basically occurring in that uh, branch through which we are basically uh, you know trying to obtain the current okay so there is a branch okay I'll just uh, uh, show you a network that would basically you know make it easier for you all to understand okay so here we have a network okay simple example of a network now what we're basically trying to uh, you know imply by this uh, theorem over here is that it says uh, in a linear time variant network now let's say this is of course a linear network okay here you have all these circuit elements you know following ohm's law and the current voltage is basically you know very proportionally with each other so there isn't any sort of you know element i mean circuit element to be precise that you know varies non-linearly with time so here uh, I go back to the statement once again so here it says that in a linear time very network when the resistance RL of an uncoupled branch so here you can see there is a resistance RL okay across which we are basically you know trying to apply this theorem so what happens over here is that in that uncoupled branch okay if a resistance RL uh, carrying a current I is changed so if uh, let's say at some point of time we basically you know, change the value of RL okay uh, if uh, the RL basically uh, let's say we if we have the RL uh, uh, as a variable resistor then we if we just you know change it over here then of course the current through this I mean flowing through this branch XY would also change okay so now whenever uh, this uh, resistance RL is changed okay and this change is denoted by Delta R okay the currents in all the branches would change that is of course true and can be obtained by assuming that an ideal voltage source VC has been connected in series with the changed resistance okay when all the other voltage sources in the network are replaced by their internal resistances so as we take a look at this network the theorem basically states that if we want to find the changed uh, current that is basically you know flowing through this network let's say I okay I mean through this uh, branch that is RL okay and uh, let's say if we just you know change the value of RL at some point of time then of course the current flowing through RL would obviously change and now we can find this change in current denoted by Delta I okay by just you know uh, including a series uh, I mean including in series with this resistance RL an ideal voltage source that is one which doesn't have any kind of internal resistances okay so if we just include a uh, volt I mean an, an ideal voltage source in series with RL okay whose uh, you know magnitude of voltage is basically uh, denoted by VC and is actually the change in voltage uh, that occurs uh, across RL that is um, you know uh, yeah that is uh, you know I 
multiplied by delta RL that's the change in the resistance so this change in voltage uh, that occurs in this branch is basically uh, given off by the magnitude of this you know theoretical voltage source uh, the ideal one that we are trying to connect across R, I mean in series with RL. Okay, so in this uh, situation, we're base will basically be uh, you know shorting out all the other uh, voltage sources uh, in the uh, I mean present in our network. Okay but only keeping their internal resistances so if we just take the example of this particular network over here okay so if I just you know uh, yeah dot it out since we're applying uh, this theorem across uh, that of RL okay which serves as our load resistance over here uh, so uh, the network I mean the portion of the network within this uh, white dotted box would obviously you know serve as uh, the source network okay now we can simply uh, you know reduce this uh, source network uh, by applying Thevenin's theorem in order to uh, so that the uh, whole network over here would actually look something like this okay yeah there you go so um, in this uh, you know reduced network so this is actually the reduced network we can see, uh, basically see from this uh, uh, picture over here that we've applied Thevenin's theorem in order to reduce this source network that's the portion of the network within the uh, dotted box over in white over here so uh, this um, source network being reduced uh, with the help of Thevenin's theorem we only have a uh, the Thevenin's I mean the equivalent Thevenin's voltage of the source network and in series with the internal resistance of the source network as well so uh, basically uh, you know uh, Thevenizing the circuit okay I mean reduction of the circuit using uh, Thevenin's theorem is actually not an part of the uh, compensation theorem we've just done it in order to you know reduce our work okay we've just done it in order to uh, you know make things simpler to understand so over here as we can see if we just you know take the simplified network over here and uh, try to you know apply the compensation theorem then it basically uh, states that the change in current through the uh, through the uh, you know the uh, load resistance RL would obviously uh, depend I mean would obviously be you know um, represented by including a voltage source in series with this resistance RL okay so in order to you know prove uh, the uh, theorem over here let's just uh, you know calculate uh, the amount of current that should flow through RL uh, in the very first case okay so now the load resistance is magnitude is just RL over here so due to this uh, you know uh, equivalent Thevenin source voltage over here a current I should flow through uh, this network okay so in that case the uh, magnitude of the current I would be given by you know VTH divided by RTH plus RL okay so that's uh, I just call it equation number one okay and now let's say at some point of time the uh, let's say we change the uh, value of this resistance RL okay so that the current through uh, I mean flowing through uh, that of the RL would also change okay so if I just show you the diagram right over here yep there you go so in this uh, picture as you can see uh, since we've uh, changed the uh, resistance RL over here so by uh, a particular value uh, represented by delta RL okay so since we've changed the value of resistance RL by uh, that of delta RL okay so now there would be a different sort of current flowing through uh, the circuit depending upon the present value of this resistance RL okay I mean uh, basically uh, to be precise RL plus delta RL okay so now let's say the uh, value of current that should flow through this uh, circuit now be given by I dashed okay so in this case I dashed magnitude would be uh, basically given by uh, well yeah that's VTH divided by um, yeah RTH plus RL plus Delta RL okay and now whatever we have over here this particular equation I'll just call it equation 2 okay so now we are basically interested to find the change in the uh, value of current okay so now uh, as a compensation theorem states that the change in the value of the current whenever uh, the there is a change in the value of the load resistance would be you know 
can be uh, rather you know represented with a um, you know voltage source in series with this uh, resistance RL okay while all the uh, rest of the uh, circuit has all its voltage sources you know shorted out just by just keeping their internal resistances so we're here we're just trying to prove that this uh, you know change in voltage is actually a function or rather related to the change in the uh, values of current okay so in order to so basically uh, here it is actually a mathematical proof of this theorem so in that case uh, in order to find the change in current that's delta i will basically be uh, deducting you know um, yeah will basically be deducting over here um, i from that of i dashed we're just assuming uh, that let's say uh, i dashed be greater than that of i so let's say we have increased the value of resistance okay or rather uh, let's say we have just uh, decreased the value of resistance over here yeah that's more perfect so in, uh, in order to do that we'll basically uh, be uh, using their uh, expressions I mean uh, the values uh, given by I and I dashed over here from equations 1 and 2 okay so in order to uh, I mean basically by doing that we'll obtain an expression that would look something like this yeah there it is so uh, this is just basically obtained by putting uh, the values of I dashed and I from that of equations 1 and 2. So I'll just include the reason over here using 1 and 2. Okay. So now if we just basically, you know, uh, simplify this thing, then we'd basically be obtaining this expression over here, which is of course VO by RTH plus RL multiplied by delta RL divided by RTH plus delta RL plus delta RL over here okay and if we just basically remember uh, from that of uh, let's say equation 1 over here if we just take a look I would be given by VTH divided by RTH plus RL okay so as you can see uh, from this equation over here that um, well uh, this I is obviously given by VTH by RTH plus RL so over here we have a similar kind of an expression Okay, so there has been a small mistake committed by me. Just kindly uh, don't mind at that. I've just, you know, uh, included a different symbol over here. Okay, so we can just, you know, write it down as VTH. So that's better. Okay, so according to the diagram, it goes well. All right. So now, um, as I said, now you can see, uh, or rather, if I just go back to equation number one, so kind of know the expression of I over here, and now uh, check at our result. So here in our result, we have uh, this similar kind of expression. So we can just uh, basically write it down as, well, minus of, you know, I multiplied with that of delta RL divided by this RTH plus RL plus delta RL. Okay, so there you go. So now from this uh, result, we can basically uh, understand over here if we are multiplying this uh, initial current that was flowing through the circuit before uh, there was any sort of change in the value of that of uh, the load resistance RL, then we can just, you know, uh, obtain, well, if we just multiply this uh, value of current with the change in the load, res I mean, in the value of the load resistance, then we can obviously, you know, uh, obtain the difference in the voltage okay so we can just you know um, yeah we can just you know uh, put it this way that if we're multiplying I with that of Delta RL that's the change in resistance then it obviously indicates the magnitude of the uh, change in voltage okay which is given by VC okay so now this particular uh, you know concept is being used over here in order to uh, you know include a uh, you know ideal voltage source in series with uh, this changed value of the load resistance so if we are just putting it here as that of minus VC divided by that of RTH plus RL plus Delta RL then we can basically prove this theorem from this particular point over here now and this uh, particular voltage that's uh, represented by VC which is given by I multiplied by Delta RL is actually uh, this particular voltage that's VC is known as the compensating voltage okay 
and that's where uh, I mean this is a particularly the area from where uh, it I mean the theorem derives its name as the compensation theorem and now according to the theorem uh, over here we're supposed to connect this uh, particular compensating voltage in series with uh, the changed value of the load resistance okay so if I just show you the uh, diagram of the uh, modified circuit or rather you know the compensated circuit yeah there you go so it looks somewhat like this you can see here uh, uh, according to the theorem we have the uh, value of the voltage sources of the source network you know removed okay and they're just basically you know shorted out and only their uh, internal resistance that's given uh, or rather obtained from the Thevenin's theorem is basically uh, remaining here in the uh, modified or rather the compensated network and along with uh, you know the change value of the load resistance as rl plus delta rl we've included the uh, i mean the compensated voltage source denoted by vc over here so this is how we apply the compensation theorem to a particular network and you know find the value of current flowing through a branch due to certain changes in the load resistance okay so that's it from uh, this uh, tutorial today so Hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to watch us next on our forthcoming tutorial. So till then, it'll be a goodbye and thanks for watching.